This week, we go to New York City to audition for a public service announcement for mental health. Every time I see you, I've got to make it up my mind. Look up on the velvet skies, I'm feeling down, but it's okay. All I know is that you came to me, and it's honestly a good surprise. Trying to say what is best for me I'll be okay, I'll be alright I'm gonna be a bit out on my element right No, come on, may I'll be just fine Cause if you're running late, I'll be out of time So baby, please don't step aside As a person who has experienced mental health issues for all of her life, um, a person who has been committed to psych hospitals for years, somebody who is very enthusiastic, not only about transgender rights, but also patient rights in the state. Um, when I was asked to audition for a public service announcement in New York City for mental health, you know that I had to take the offer. Um, I don't have the role yet exactly. This is an audition, although it's not really an audition because we it's not scripted. We're talking about my actual experiences. So it's more of an interview. Um, I do feel like I have a lot to offer um, on this subject and I hope that I can be included in the final project because this is something very near and dear to my heart. Um, so we are on our way to New York City and I hope that it turns out well. Um, besides that, we have a lot of other things going on this week. Um, one of the things actually is related to mental health and I'm going to be meeting with lawyers about the abuse and things that happen in some of the psych hospitals that I have been in because again, we are fighting for the rights of other patients. Um, I'm also going to a fitting for the upcoming fashion show, Pink Roses in Tuscany, um, in Aberdeen, New Jersey by Sparkle Boutique. Um, so I'll be going in for a fitting for that. And who knows, there'll probably be plenty of other things going on this week. So I'm not really sure everything that will be in this episode, but we have some exciting things going on. I'm not quite sure if I'm going to be going to Beverly Hills for that movie premiere yet but it's a possibility so very exciting things but this is so important to me to be in included in this mental health campaign so we will see you in New York City just another day in New York my second home so I just finished my audition and it was so different than what I expected I had prepared a whole speech um, that incorporated my whole story and what I'm passionate about. However, um, there were so many different actors, so really what they did was more of like a Q&A. So hopefully I incorporated enough about my story to be chosen to be included in the final product. Um, we should know soon because they are going to shoot it next week, or I'm sorry, yeah, next week, um, or this upcoming week. Anyway, I'm, I really hope that I'm selected because, again, it's such a big part of my life and who I am and what I'm passionate about. So I hope I can be included in this mental health PSA.
Okay guys, so I don't think that I got the roll for the PSA because I think that they were going to shoot that today. So nobody called me. Um, I'm just going to assume it's because I don't actually live in New York City. Although Jean thinks it's just because I can't act. <laughs> she might be right. But um, I don't know. We'll have to we'll have to see. You'll have to give me your opinion when all these shows and movies and things come out. By the way, you can go to my IMDB page um, under Jacqueline Sophia London and see some of the roles that I've done already. Um, they didn't come out yet, but you can see them. And if you click track, you'll get alerts um, every time something's updated about my page. Um, so that's really cool. So you guys should all go to that now and do that. Um, but anyway, I have a couple other roles that I am auditioning for. I did self tapes. The really cool roles. I hope I get them. Um, so we'll see if that happens. Um, what else? Um, I don't know. I mean, there's some like local like charity like fundraiser thing going on <laughs> that I want to do like a Princess of Keyport gift basket for. Um, but besides that, nothing's really not really much going on at the moment, um, which is good. Oh, except there is a mute, not a music festival. There is an LGBT film festival in Newark, um, New Jersey this weekend. And I just found out about it this morning and I know it's kind of like last minute cause it starts tomorrow. Um, but I volunteered for it. So I like filled out the form and everything. And if they need help, which hopefully I'm not too late, maybe I will be able to volunteer and be involved in that. Um, but I'll let you know. I mean, if I'm there, I'm sure I'll do a little video or whatever, or a little segment for this video. So, um, but again, thanks so much for watching. Um, we'll see what happens later on in the week and hopefully something cool. But yeah, I don't think I'm in the PSA. So that's okay. See you soon. Okay, so they never got back to me about the film festival in Newark, um, which is sad because I did want to volunteer for that. Um, and then I was thinking about just going, but I really didn't have anyone to go with me um, last moment. But today, it's not really the nicest day. It's a little bit cloudy and chilly. Um, but we decided that we were going to go to Lambertsville in New Jersey right before you cross over the water into New Hope to do some antiquing. So that's what we're doing today. Um, what else is going on in my life? Um, I don't know. Uh, so I haven't even been here for five minutes and I'm already buying things, um, but I need to slow down because today was supposed to just be more of a busy day, trying to have fun. Um, shouldn't really be spending too much, but I'm really hungry. So I think we're gonna get something to eat now. So earlier this week, I did reach out to Russ Russo, who is an actor. He's been in lots of movies and TV shows, and he has an acting school in Red Bank, which is very close to me. So I reached out to him and we're going to set up an interview because he has to make sure I'm a good fit. And then if I am, then hopefully I can be in some of his individual classes because um, I'm shy. Um, but. That's something cool going on. And hopefully I can get more roles because I'll be a better actor. This antique shop is humongous. It's like one of the biggest, coolest. I mean, there's so many awesome things in here. Um, and there's like three floors. So we're gonna be here for a while, but it is so cool. They have so many awesome things in here. I have no idea what it's called, but you definitely wish you were here, trust me. There are four floors in this place. We can be here all day if we stopped and looked at everything. Tempting, but I'm hungry. Okay, so on the third floor, the, the highest floor in this place, there are so many cool 
paintings. Um, three dimensional. It's so awesome and artistic. Um, but I wanted you to check out some of these. So how cool would that be in my house? In my room, especially would it match Jane's aesthetic. But anyway, come meet Eleanor because I want her, Eleanor Dot Voorhees on Instagram. So make sure that you follow her real quick. That you'll be able to see all of her art and things like that. But meet Eleanor. Hi. Hi. Um, so Eleanor, can you tell me about this dress sure. over here? Because this is so cool, guys. Sure. Come check this out. So this piece I made using just oil on canvas. It was inspired by um, a Dior dress I saw at the Metropolitan Museum of Art, and then I changed it quite a bit to make it my own. But this is just cut canvas that I've then folded um, and drilled into the mannequin and entirely painted it in oil. So it's not wearable, it's not sewn. It's truly an oil on canvas sculpture of a dress. And in the past I've done never a sculpture, but I've done wall pieces like this pink um, dress that was inspired by a Karl Lagerfeld. And it's also just oil on canvas and entirely painted in oils. So I took it to the next level with the dress. And if that was wearable, oh my God, would I want to wear that in this fashion show coming up or the photo shoot? And I'm sure all of you would too. But make sure you follow her on Instagram because this art is amazing. And again, oh, can you tell me the name of this antique shop? Because sure. downstairs I was talking about how oh. cool it was, but I didn't know the name. Yeah, it's like the number one stop in Lambertville. So um, I'm on the third floor of what's called the People's, uh, the People's Antique Center or the People's Store, it's always been known as in Lambertville. It's 28 North Union Street and it's about 50 dealers or so of different antique dealers that rent different spaces. Um, it's sort of like a co-op. They all work it. It's open seven days a week from 10 until 6. My space is only open when I'm here, but I'm here quite a bit. So check out my Instagram story for my hours. That's why this place is so big and has so many cool things. It's because I was like, this place must take so many people to run because it is really, really the the inventory is so extensive, but check her out. Make sure you follow her. And then you can check all this really cool art out and come down here and meet her. She's so nice. But bye, bye Eleanor. Bye. Okay, so we just finished up in the antique shop. Time to go home. Oh, wait, I drive a Hyundai. Oh, wow. Well. <laughs> okay. So I did want to kind of like end this episode, but with like some updates for you guys, because I know this episode has kind of been like a mixed bag of different events, um, but a lot's been going on. Um, so a lot that I can't show you guys, obviously, is when I do these self tapes, that is kind of footage and material from scripts that is confidential. You know, it's stuff that I can see obviously and the casting directors and the producers and stuff but I can't just go around showing you know these scenes because the movie didn't come out yet so um I have been doing a lot of those but I recently actually this morning got notified that I just got another principal role which is good because the principal roles are really what I'm after um and it gives me a lot of experience and helps me kind of perfect my craft and hopefully I can get some lead roles soon. Um, I love doing all the roles that I get, obviously, um, especially the ones that are in, you know, movies and TV and things like that because more people get to see me. So um, I love to do them all. So I don't turn down roles, um, whether they're paid, unpaid, whatever, like I just like to act. So um, I'm, I'm very excited for this role, um, especially the, you know, because of who this character is, like, I'm really happy to be included. So again, I can't tell you guys all these things, but if you guys go to my IMDB page, which I told you about earlier, just go to IMDB, search my name, Jacqueline Sophia London, Make sure you track me because not all of my roles are up there yet, but they are popping up 
very often because there's a lot of different roles that I keep getting. So um, you can see the modeling, all these different things that are popping up. So I don't want you guys to miss any that I don't actually speak about. So I want you guys to go over there. I'm going to put the link in the description of this video. Go over there, make sure you track me, get all of these because when this article comes out as well, I'm going to link that article to my IMDB page and I want you guys to read that especially um, because a lot of pain and traumatic events had gone into me telling my story through that article and I want you guys to see it. Like, I don't want to be... I want it to be worth it, like reliving that over and over and over again. So um, make sure you go over there and see all these things. Um, what else? I'm also going to put the link for the artist that I showed, um, Eleanor, if you guys remember from um, Lambertville. I'm going to have her link and I'm also going to include the link for Sparkle Boutique, the one that is doing the Pink Roses in Tuscany fashion show so you can go over there go to her website buy your tickets and i can't wait to see all of you and meet you and have fun so a lot of things are going on um but yeah i just wanted to end with a lot all this information so that we can move on to the big Times square episode so Stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel because that is also going to be a way for you get to get most of the updates about what's going on in my life. So you don't want to miss when these episodes come out. So thanks so much. I'm so excited. Oh, by the way, my star meter on IMDb went up again. So like I have like a pretty good star meter, especially for someone who's just starting out. Um, like, I have a pretty impressive star meter right now. So that's really cool. Um, and I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful for all of you who support me. Um, I really need to start, like, thinking about getting, like, headshots done. Um, my friend V, who is a photographer um, and director and producer of, you know, certain films um in Montreal hopefully he can take some headshots of me because I wouldn't mind going up to Montreal again so hopefully I can go up there and maybe I'll include that in this next episode as well depending on when he's available and I don't know if that would be cool too right you can meet him and maybe I'll do a little photo shoot for him even though it'll be a little spicy we'll have to um blur it out a little bit um or make it safe for YouTube but I don't know I feel like that would be cool as well so I don't know a lot of things going on I hope everyone else is having a great I want to say summer I don't think it's actually summer yet but it's definitely not summer yet but oh my god it's so hot today it's like 80 something degrees so anyway I'm not I'm not wearing any makeup today I'm not doing any self tapes because I just cannot put anything on my face. It is so hot right now. So <sighs> stay tuned. Okay. And I'll see you again in probably just a few more days. So thanks so much, everyone. Bye.